go get him again. Welcome back to the Robzoid channel. I'm your host, Mark, and welcome to today's unboxing and first impression. It is on the brand of Amparo Armani, and it is part of the Stronger With You collection, this one called Absolutely. I am a fan of the Stronger With You DNA. Um, I, I really do like this one. It's not a premium designer release, but it is a very good one. I, I have a sweet tooth. You know, I like my Limals. Angel Men, among others. Um, so I do have a little bit of a sweet tooth and I felt like this one was actually fairly solid where, again, I've unboxed these two this year, the Oud and of course the Intensely. Um, so it's not the best in the game, far from it, but one that I have like a, a sweet spot for. And I like wearing this during the fall and winter months just as a, don't think about it, I just want something sweet and well done. And they are. Um, now. It is time for this one. I do have the leather one somewhere and I do have a sample of that new amber one too. So that's gonna go into sampling samples, but um, I'm not done with this line, far from it. But uh, this is a blind buy, by the way. I have no idea what this smells like. I, you know, it's not like I went to a Sephora or anything and smelt it, to be quite honest. I, I do have access to that, but I've never really smelt this uh, release or wanted to smell this release. Maybe it didn't have a tester. Um, there is tons of talk on the internet right now about uh, intensely and absolutely mostly my american friends um europe canada at least in my end i i took a look and they still have these in stock now it could be old stock they're not on sale um where i live um they are still readily available there's not tons of stock of it so i'm assuming they are phasing it out but there is a lot of talk from these two being pulled from the shelves I'm assuming there's an elixir coming out. Stronger with you elixir. Wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Um, Armani likes to piggyback on that kind of stuff. So we may see that. And uh, But to my American friends, if you are on the fence with Intensely and Absolutely, definitely um, go check them out uh, because they are definitely pulled from the market. Now for me, I have no idea what this smells like, so I'm gonna let you know firsthand, of course, my first impression on this one. So let's get into it. I'm assuming, again, it's going to look kind of like Intensely. Um, you've taken this and really rejigged it a little bit to make it its own. So I'm gonna open this away from the mic as much as I can to save your ears. Some people like this kind of stuff. Not me. Um, but anyway, fairly easy unboxing. And it is a 50 mil, so it's going to match my Oud bottle here. And I do love this bottle. I like the gradient. I think it's the one of the nicest bottles in the line, to be quite honest. I love the, the richness. It, it just makes you think that it's gonna be a dark syrupy thing. Um, the big thing about this one is, uh, well, the big note is the uh, rum that people talk about a lot in it. Um, I do see the familiar chestnut in here in the base notes. So let's, it's my scent of the day and I am wearing a white shirt. So I'm gonna try to get away from the white shirt. Don't know if this stains, we will see. Yeah, I can already smell <laughs> that stronger with you DNA off this thing. Yeah. It is nice, it, it very much. Okay, rum. The idea of rum, a little bit. Um, I've smelt boozy fragrances before, niche and designer. Um, not in that, there's, a, there's some really good spice in here. The cinnamon in here is beautiful. Um, it really is one of those fragrances that's rich, warm, comforting. I'm mean, gonna wear this with a sweater. I'm um, around Christmas time, around fall right now, right? Snow's on the ground. Um, it is exactly what I come to expect, you know, from a Stronger With You flanker. It really, and I'm being honest, it doesn't really, it, it really doesn't move away from the DNA. Like it's really something that you may think might be redundant as a flanker. And I can see that. Um, the rum portion of it is very minimal. I like the spicy quality in this one. 
It almost has a peppery kick to it too. Vanillic, chestnutty, yes, you get that nutty aspect, that gourmand vanillic tendency that you get from the original. Um, sweetness, yes. Um, I feel like the sweetness is toned down just a bit from the original. Yeah, um, so again, rich, warm, um, cozy, great for around Christmas time. And it's one of those things that, you know, and again, like don't think about it. You just want to wear a warming, comforting designer fragrance that's well done. Um, this fits the bill. It's not, yeah, it's not like, super bad like i've smelt some fragrances that are pretty bad in that kind of area of like a, a warmer fragrance um no it's well done little balsamic lots of vanilla but it has that darker edge to it and it really does remind me of what the bottle hue looks like like a darker brown hue uh to the fragrance so at the end of the day, I like it. Um, initial impression is whew, with a fragrance like this, a flanker like this that isn't showing much more differences, it's hard for me to gauge. And again, it's just an initial impression off the skin, on camera. You know, I, I give you five minutes of my time to dissect this. And when it's a flanker and it doesn't pull away much from the original, now it could. Right, I, I didn't smell this before the video or anything like that. So once I get into a test drive video, now I'm gonna start looking into these and kind of figuring, okay, where does this slot in in these, this, this foursome here? Which one's better? What nuances in the back end, the front end? What's going on? But at the end of the day, it's, it's a, whoa. I smelled some uh, lavender quality there. Well done, Lavender, actually. So anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, a good release, a good designer release. And that's what I come to expect from Stronger With You, uh, the flankers. They've all been very solid. Um, they're not like bad designer releases. They're not 10 out of 10 designer releases that you're like, oh, wow, amazing. Like this was kind of unique in a way when it got released, the Stronger With You that I'm pointing at. And then all this is just building upon that mold. Um, so it's starting to get less and less, can I say interesting just because of that, but I do like, really do like the richness, the warmth, um, a sweater type of fragrance. Exactly. Um, going out to do errands, um, casual wear, very, very much something that will attract people around you because it has that warming quality, especially when there's snow on the ground. Like there is today. Um, I really do like this DNA. So absolutely a solid release. Um, I'm, I'm, I hate leaving you with like not enough information in regards to how I, I feel about the differences because it's very close to the original. But now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. Absolutely love that. You know, it could be differences. You like it, you love it, you hate it. It's discontinued, sad face emoji. I, I, <laughs> I love seeing those. Uh, but yeah, a, a solid release from Armani. Um, you know, a nice sweet fragrance. You know, if you don't like sweet fragrances, of course, you know, disregard this line. Um, ooh, the lavender is really coming out on this one though. Yeah. Smooths it out. It makes it more balanced. And I think, you know, I think people look at this bottle and go, this is probably the stronger one out of the three. I'm gonna be assuming, and I'm just shooting blindly at the dartboard right now, but I'm thinking um, this thing, because of the lavender, it's gonna be more balanced, more um, not as polarizing, not as sweet. I mean, it really is laying things down. And a lot of fragrance brands are doing this now, introducing a lavender note. Lavender's back, maybe, we'll see. Um, lavender is always a very popular note in fragrances, but it, it seems like a lot of these sweet fragrances, um, especially with these new noses coming out. And I don't know who the nose is behind this. I, I didn't do any research or anything like that, but they're utilizing a lot of lavender as a high secondary note to really tame the sweetness and make it more versatile um, and all that. Lavender is a great note when you utilize it well. 
and when you utilize a poor lavender note, it smells like dryer sheet to me. I don't get that here. This is like Le Mal, like uh, lavender, which is a very good one. All right, now this is long enough for an unboxing first impression video on Stronger With You, absolutely. Can't wait to see the comments below. And as always, Greater Pour Fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your Stronger With You flanker wisely. Thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.